Satya Maker. I'm going to explain my new plugin called Data Glitch. So to apply the uh, apply the plugin, you to affect Robite Data Glitch. So this is really self-explanatory. Uh, you can create two types of glitches right now. It's image and strip. So with image glitch, it glitches the whole image, uh, and then you have the strip glitch which creates glitches and random strips of the image. Uh, this is more practical for a video glitch, it's something you see during a cable transmission. And, and the next one you have is the compression quality. The lower the quality is, the more compressed artifacts you get in the video. So instead of encoding it with low, like, low quality things, you can directly change the compression quality on the fly here and get these compressed artifacts. It's really subtle like artifacts uh, which I'm not sure if you can see in this video but uh, creates compression artifacts and the next one you have is uh, the size of each strip here you know the bigger the strips are the uh, you know the bigger the glitch pattern you get and the uh, next one is seed random so it cr it controls the uh, random num random numbers uh, that are used to create this glitch. So if you have a still image and if you want to keep uh, keep the glitch pattern going in different directions, all you have to do is animate this seed random. If you animate this, you can see it creates like different glitch patterns automatically. And then you have the uh, remove gray regions. Uh, it it create it actually. It's really uh, minute. You see some random gray spots. Sometimes it happens during decompression. It just re removes those by default. And the last one is force alpha. If you have an alpha channel in the in the uh, in the source uh, in the source image, it f it forces the alpha of that image on the f onto the final image. Uh, it, it actually it's it, it's quite helpful if you have a text image, you know, a text kind of thing where you have an alpha channel too. And that's it. Uh, it's really uh, spontaneous and it's really easy to use. You can create really uh, cool glitch patterns. And hope you enjoy the plugin and have a great day. Thank you.